Welcome to the Ray Edwards Show. Today I'm here to ask for your help, letting people know about my new book. What is my new book? It's called Read This or Die, Persuading Yourself to a Better Life. And it tells the story of how I was in a place of desperation. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. It got worse and worse to the point that I was mostly non-functional, unable to travel alone, unable to be left alone, unable to sometimes walk across the room or even go to the bathroom on my own. It was tough. It was debilitating. And coupled along with that, I had to have rotator cuff surgery. We had the pandemic strike. It happened all at once. It was the perfect storm. And I was in a place of desperation where I actually considered taking my own life. That's how much I was suffering or thought I was suffering. And I realized something's got to give. Something's got to change. So I began to search in earnest for the answer. I tried everything. I tried self-help seminars. I tried motivational speakers. I tried books about the law of attraction. I went to my church. I got prayed for by miracle faith healers. I tried different crazy supplementa supplementation routines of vitamins and powders and potions and lotions and exercise programs and targeted physical therapy approaches. Nothing worked. I was backed into a corner. I was desperately depressed. I turned to the only thing I knew how to do that I had left, which was because I'm a copywriter and a marketer, a guy who writes advertising copy, I wrote myself a sales letter, and it started like this. It started by saying, Ray, read this or die, a total failure, leaving behind a string of broken promises. That letter saved my life. And it helped me see what kind of life I wanted to live and persuaded me it was worth doing. And I did it. And here I stand today. And you might be wondering, well, did you cure your Parkinson's? No, it's not cured, but it's almost just as good. Because the change in my thinking that happened, I was at a point where I realized I can't change the disease. I can't cure the problem, but I can cure my thinking, which was my deeper problem. I often wonder, if I had had some problem that didn't show on the outside, would I have talked about it? Would I have been as forthcoming about it? Would I have shared it with people? Maybe not. Probably not. But because it showed on the outside, I couldn't hide it. And it made it obvious to me that the real problem was actually on the inside. It was the things that nobody could see that were the most troublesome for me. My thoughts, my feelings, my emotions. And that's where the real learning happened for me, and that's where it can happen for you, I believe, as well. So when you read this book, you not only get my story of how I did it, I walk you through the simple six-step framework, the pastor framework, the same framework I used to write sales copy. I used to rewrite my own copy in my head and change my life, and you can use it to change yours as well. And your problem doesn't have to be a big medical diagnosis. It can be something simple. It can be something as simple as you want to stop eating Krispy Kreme for breakfast every morning and have something healthy. How do you get hold of that behavior and change it? The answer is in this book. And not only is it in the book, when you pre-order the book right now by going to readthisordiebook.com, you also get a free video mini course that immediately walks you through the process so you can change whatever you need to change in your life. and You can do it now. So the help I'm asking for today is, first of all, get your copy of my book, pre-order it by going to readthisordiebook.com and get that done. Get your free video mini course, and then help me spread the word. Tweet about it. Post on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest, wherever you're on the socials, on TikTok. I, I posted a video of TikTok that shows my remarkable recovery from Parkinson's. You got to watch this. It's been viewed over 1.1 million times. I had no idea that was going to happen. But because of the change in thinking that I experienced, I began to see new possibilities, and I pursued a treatment that I had ruled out before. It's called deep brain stimulation surgery. They implant some electrodes in my brain. They put a little power pack and controller in my chest. It's kind of like a pacemaker for my brain. It cancels out the bad signals that are sent by Parkinson's disease to my body and lets me function like normal. It's a miracle. It's a, it's a miracle of modern medical science. I've talked to numerous people who saw my video and who had a loved one or they themselves had Parkinson's or some similar neurodegenerative disorder and they went to their doctors and got treatment because they saw my video. That's why I'm so passionate about spreading word about this book 
and about what it's about. It's not about selling back in programs or trainings or teachings. For me, it's about telling the story of how I was able to change my life for the better and how anybody can change their own lives for the better as well. Even if all that self-help stuff hasn't worked for you, I believe this will. So however you can help by sharing a TikTok video or sharing about the book or just buying a copy of the book and reading it, let me know if it helps you. Let me know if you have any questions. Or you could also help if you know somebody who's involved with or connected to one of the podcasts I'm about to name, because I want to get on as many podcasts as possible and talk about this book. I know quite a few people who have some influential podcasts. I'm definitely going to ask those people to let me come on their show and talk about my book. Some will say yes, some will say no. It's okay, some it's a good fit for, some it's not. But I've also got a lot of people that I'm, I'm a huge fan of. It's just an aspiration for me to be on their show, on their podcast. If you know any of these people, or you have any connection or influence, maybe you can open that door for me. I would really appreciate that so deeply. Definitely give you a shout out on my show and social media. Definitely have my gratitude. If you know and can get me connected with Ed Milet, for instance, Ed, brother, max out. Let's do this thing. Talk about how people can turn their lives around. I actually have something to say to your audience. I think it would help them. The Minimalists, Jordan Harbinger, Joe Rogan, Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V, Brooke Castillo, Tim Ferriss, Brendan Bruchard, Ben Greenfield, the folks at Think Media. Yes, you're my friends. I'm going to ask you straight out. Stu McLaren, Amy Porterfield, good friends of mine. Michael Hyatt, Donald Miller, Pat Flynn, Cliff Ravenscraft, Tony Robbins, Jeff Walker, Frank Kern, Michael J. Fox Foundation's Parkinson's Podcast, Michael Stelzner's Social Media Examiner Podcast, and any podcast you think of that I haven't named that you think, oh, Ray, you forgot this person, that person. This would be a good fit for you. Connect me, and you'll have my eternal gratitude. So that's my request. Help me get the word out about my book. Help me get connected with people who can get me on these podcasts or into media outlets, television stations, radio stations. I just want to share the message of the book, Read This or Die, Persuading Yourself to a Better Life. Especially if you feel like you've tried everything, here's something that will work. I believe it will work for you. Thank you. God bless you. Until next time, may you live long, enjoy good health, and prosper with purpose. See you next time.